Today is all about painting on a vinyl surface. I know what you're thinking, that's a little odd, but let me just blow your mind for a minute because you can take normal vinyl, cut it into any shape you want, whether by hand or with your Cricut, your Silhouette, any of your cutting machines, and turn it into this. Now this project is the one that you guys have all been wanting to learn how to paint the acrylic on. So, we're gonna cut out some leaves out of some vinyl using our Cricut Maker, and then we're gonna apply some acrylic paint to make it have a little bit more personality. So, let me show you what you need to get started. What am I doing with my hand? The supplies needed are acrylic paint, some artistry brushes, and of course, your vinyl. My vinyl is already pre-weeded. I cut it out of different colors and sizes of palm leaves. In case you're new to vinyl, what weeding out means is that when this whole sheet was cut, the you know what? Let me show you real quick. I'm gonna cut out a leaf really quick for you. I'm using some teal vinyl I have on hand and my strong grip mat. I'm using my mobile device and connecting to the maker via Bluetooth. Crazy cool time for him, I guess. And I'm going to load it. Well, did that crooked. Okay, well, let's, there we go. And now we're gonna make, I'm gonna choose vinyl and next we're gonna weed it. Go Cricut go, go Cricut go. So you're gonna wanna remove your vinyl from your strong grip mat and then start to remove the excess vinyl that you're not using. This is the weeding process, exposing the negative space which produces the positive of what you cut. Sometimes you're gonna need a tool to weed out what's in the middle. That your image is exposed, it's time to paint it. You're gonna paint it before you apply it. If this stresses you out, wait till the end because I have a way for you to do this differently. But here's how we're gonna start. So take your brush, we're using our darkest color. You can see that I have three colors on the side, a dark, um, a medium color, and a more light. So taking that dark color from the middle and going out creates that base of depth. Now, if you're a perfectionist and you're watching this, go get your brown paper bag and start breathing heavily as you hyperventilate because this looks like a mess right now. <laughs> I'm adding my medium tone color and it's starting to kind of blend a little more and that makes it come alive a little bit. And then I'm taking my bright blue to be my highlight color here. So remember going from the middle part out, it just depends on what you're painting and be mindful of highlights and lowlights. Here's the pink one. Now, this one I refer to as the devil. The more negative space you have when doing this project, the worse it is. I only had dark pink and a white color, so I made medium pink by, you know, going back to kindergarten and remembering if I mix dark pink with a lighter color, I'll get my medium. Started with my darker, went with my medium, and now I'm topping it off with my whitish color. So when you remove your vinyl, you might have some sticky points and you can use this Cricut tool to line, outline it and it will remove that excess paint for you. Now I'm using kind of like a hinge method where I am sticking the stem to it, then pulling that under sheet off. You can see here, this is why I call this one what I did because then you're gonna have to put it in place. Yes, this is a time consuming like project, but I'll show you another way to apply it that's a little quicker in a few minutes with the yellow one. So this one's painted heavily and you can see I'm using my Cricut tool, you can use any tool, to just kind of remove the paint from the backing to the vinyl and it will help remove it successfully. So you can see in the background, I, I actually ripped it because I wanted to be able to apply it better. Here's the yellow one. See what I'm doing? If you are so stressed about it, just cut it into sections. Now, once I started applying it, you can see that this one's shorter. This is the great thing about when you cut it up. You can make it any length you want, and vinyl, when you butt it up to each other, it will actually look as if that's how it was supposed to be. See, no one will ever know. And you can always go back and touch up those paint things. This is the best one. The more solid your pieces, you hinge it on, roll off the backing, oh, the best. And you can just do them individually or all as one. That's it. Isn't that gorgeous? Yes, it's time consuming, but it's worth it. Look how pretty it is. 
Now here's an option for you who are really stressing out but want to do this project. Now you can apply your vinyl normal with your transfer tape and unpeel it like this and then start to paint it. It's just I don't have this luxury when I travel. So starting with your darker, then your lighter, and just piling it on until you like the texture and how it looks. But get creative. Make sure you go out there and create. try painting on vinyl. It's fun. I promise.